It is almost Halloween, children. And we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh. Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes. yes. I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. Uh, I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Peppa. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> And we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> Moon! <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> ah, got you! <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go. And it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Oh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 me, me. 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 Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate's we that sailed the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sale ahoy me! <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! 
Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep! Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <laughs> Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Susie, my friend in the olden days. Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> George. He was a baby in my tummy. <coughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <coughs> And Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No? No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Your Majesty. Oh dear, the Queen is not wearing her boots. 
<laughs> the Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. There must be something you like the smell of. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? <laughs> Actually, that smells quite nice. <sighs> it smells lovely. <sighs> This tank. I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too big. Dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. <gasps> Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. <laughs> I want to race too. 
Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, on George! George. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Okay, Chief Mechanic. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come on, George! Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I Hey, what? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh. Oh dear, it is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are! Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the King and Queen's room, full of old stuff. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! 
nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr. Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dots. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes. I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing Candy Cat. <laughs> And Edmund on tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping! It's the strong Danny dog! <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> <sighs> The funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast. was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens. And some animals eat at night, like... Oh! Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. Oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. <laughs> Bye-bye, Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moth. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Pepper. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! <laughs> Daddy. It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Pepper and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. Very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Pepper. You can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What 
what a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. Hello? Hello, Grandpa. Is Goldie all right? Goldie is fine. I sent her a postcard today. Has it arrived? Oh, not yet, but I'm sure it will get here soon. <sighs> night, night, Grandpa. Night, night, Peppa. <sighs> Peppa and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <laughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Pepper has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. <laughs> ah. Hello, officer. Whatever I was doing... I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie, but she's flying home now. Flying high. In the sky, flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> it is very shiny. <laughs> Come on, George, let's find some more shiny things. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> we're looking for shiny things to see ourselves in. Have a look in a spoon. Ooh. Pepper and George can see their faces in the shiny spoons. <laughs> Our faces look funny. Now, turn the spoon around. I'm upside down. And turn it round again. Now I'm the right way up. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, Pepper. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. And... Is it magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Susie. Look at that. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's a shiny spoon. Look, I can make you go upside down. <laughs> Ooh, how does that work? It's magic. My daddy says so. Ah, let's find some more magic shiny things in the garden. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. Ooh, it's shiny enough to see our faces. I can see the sky. There's a cloud. 
Here are Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Did you drop something in that puddle? No. We're looking at the sky. But the sky is in the sky. <laughs> Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No, this is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Help! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. Help! What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! Hooray! We're, We're saved! I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. <laughs> oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry! <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. 
Daddy is the engine. I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The Elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Elephant. Elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff, come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're sailing. We're canoeing. We're pedalling. <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boat. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. George loves space rockets. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Rampy Rabbit has a very loud voice. What have I got here? A rock. Yes, but not any old rock. I found it on the moon. Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous. <laughs> Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you have to shout blast off as loudly as possible. Blast off! I can't hear anything. Blast off! Vroom! There I was, flying through space. And then I landed on the moon! It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you could jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> Of course. Ice creams for everyone. The cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No, if you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. <laughs> 
Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> Oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny, but they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can! Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof. Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up, roll up. All sorts of bits and bobs. What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily. You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm, this all looks very interesting. Balloons. Lovely balloons. Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course. We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle. I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily. How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> Get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper and her friends are playing in the sand pit. This sand pit is our desert island. <laughs> we will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. Dinosaur. <laughs> yes, George. <laughs> the desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs, you look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Have you got any spare trees? Uh, We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Brum, brum, brum. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert <laughs> island. The dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. Meow. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. Wow! Ah! Oops. 
I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh! Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing. That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not gonna work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are. Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> These two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro? Cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. 
raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, or oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Thank <laughs> you.